okay, right out of the gate, we are now offering international shipping. It's difficult to get a credit card processor here in the United States to offer international shipping approval. So they don't like to process credit cards from all over the world. And so we have had an Etsy shop and Etsy has affiliates all over the world. So if you go to our regular website, jimvikingusa.com, you'll see first thing, there's a button for shop here. And this is all our products we have on there at the moment and a button for our Etsy shop, which will take you to the Dramatic Physique Etsy shop, which has my TC Tuggers and our Gym Viking products and so forth and so on. That's number one. Number two is a little update on the glycine experiment. Now my original way that I was going to use this was to try to actually replace my protein powder, at least to a large degree, with glycine with 20 to 30 grams per oral dose and see if that would get me better results overall as far as like um, nutrient partitioning, releasing fats, storing more carbohydrates, storing more, you know, glycogen in the muscle like we would like. But what I found was when I took a huge dose of it, over 30 grams, something like that, big old protein powder scoop, I actually produced so much glucagon from the pancreas that I went hypoglycemic. I know I talk about that sort of thing a lot. I'm fairly sensitive to that. My insulin sensitivity, even when I'm bulking, tends to stay pretty good, but I really pushed it with this. I was taking like 50 gram dose and I had fudge rounds and I had, I had different things that would actually stimulate insulin release and I kind of found my limit. So for me, I don't want the risk of that happening. I don't want to feel lightheaded or anything like that. So I'm not going to take a huge, huge dose of glycine all the time. I don't, I think it's a little bit of overkill. But one of the things that I did stumble across when researching glycine, among the many, 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 many benefits that it has, is at a dose of around 7.5 grams for an average size gym rat like myself, it stimulates glucagon and GLP-1. So... GLP-1 is glucagon-like peptide 1, and it's actually what is meant for the GLP-1 receptors is, is what's um, stimulated and activated with Ozempic, brain fart. So the hot new product, that's what, that's what it is. It's a glucagon-like peptide agonist, a receptor agonist. So what I actually did was use glycine at 7.5 grams per dose, during my dirty fast. And I recently just did a 10 day dirty fast. I would say it was very successful. I would say I lost at least 7.5 pounds of fat overall thereabouts. Uh, you know, I can fit into pants I couldn't fit in before, etc., etc., etc. And I don't believe I've lost any muscle. The, the scale seems to bear that out. The tape measurements seem to bear that out. The research that I've done prior seems to bear that out and the other 20 plus fast that I've done seem to bear that out. But glycine was a nice addition. I think I felt a little more clear headed, a little more normal on a fast. Normally on a fast, I'm very clear headed. Uh, in fact, very creative, very open minded, but also pretty low energy. So glycine seemed to help that a little bit. The energy levels were a little better as far as thinking and processing speed goes, as well as taking my ECD, actually my Viking gains all the way throughout, which has a subtle L-carnitine, which I believe also helped. And that was my first time trying that too. So just wanted to report back. That's where I've left off with the glycine experiment. I kind of dropped it uh, when I wasn't seeing the results that I'd hoped for, but I think I found another use for it. Also, I like to take it right before bed. It does kind of lower body temperature a little bit. I sleep better. I tend to be a pretty hot and you know sweaty guy in my sleep, even if the room's cool. So that's a nice addition, nice little benefit for me. The soy isoflavones worked very well as an insulin substitute for me personally. One of my uh, fellow uh, gym rats and you know self lab rats for self improvement. Uh, tried some of what I've been working on with that and is reporting good results. The scale's moving up. They're seeing the things they want to see from it. In fact, they want to start using it every day. Now, for me, like I said, I have really good insulin sensitivity to begin with. So even when I'm using those soy isoflavones now, it's a sublingual, ultra-complexed 
And if I take too much of it, if I take a full dropper of it, I'll start to go hypoglycemic. There that is again, but you know, I'm sensitive to it and it's a good way to test things. Uh, actually I need to get batteries for my glucose monitor and run some proper tests on that. But both of us have been getting good results. It's encouraging. I don't have a product for it yet and I'm still kind of debating on how I want to go about that because it can actually be dangerous for those that are sensitive. But on the other hand, there are people that are my buddies basically that are trying this out with me and we're getting pretty good results. So just wanted to touch base on a few things. I've been a little absent and I haven't gone anywhere. Just some things percolating on the noggin and things I'm working on here at home. So anyway, thanks for bearing with me and hope you found this informative.